Hello Normans and welcome back to this week's Norman News. I'm Grace Suomi and I'm Natalie Gold. Stay tuned for news on the SAT and more on NATO. Around the school in 15 minutes, this, this is the Norman, Norman News. news. Hello Normans! This Wednesday, all sophomores will be taking the PSAT while juniors are being provided with an SAT at school. This is a mandatory school day for all sophomores and juniors. These tests require no registration and are completely free to each student. Freshmen and seniors will be attending school virtually via Zoom. Please stay in contact with your teachers for more information on your classes. Now to Natalie with World News. Thanks, Grace. Vladimir Putin entered the Ukraine this past Thursday, and since then, there's been nonstop gunfire and explosions in Kiev and other places in the Ukraine. Putin's intentions are to bring the Ukraine under the control of Russia before the Ukraine could become a member of NATO. NATO is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The purpose of NATO is a military alliance created after World War II, including 28 European countries and two North American countries. Putin was not expecting the resistance he is facing. Even men not ordered or required to fight are fighting, as are women. President Zelensky has called on all Ukrainians to stand up and fight, and they are doing so, making their own homemade bombs. President Zelensky has refused to leave his country and has been fighting in the war as well. Ukraine has been alone in this fight, but this past Sunday, the EU, for the first time, will be funding the delivery of weapons to Ukraine. The EU will also begin to block Russian aircrafts from entry into the EU, and Russian state-owned media outlets will be banned in EU territory. Sadly, over 350 Ukrainian citizens' lives have been lost in this war, but the world will continue to stand by Ukraine. Now to Eden with more. Thanks, Natalie. The chances of winning the lottery once in your lifetime are pretty slim. However, one man has shocked the nation with his recent victory. Three years after winning a $10 million lottery prize, a New York man has done it again. Juan Hernandez of Uniondale, New York, won New York's $10 million deluxe scratch-off game earlier this month, claiming the grand prize. In an article published on February 22nd, the New York lottery said lightning struck twice for Hernandez, who won the same amount of the Cash Spectacular Strack-Off ticket in 2019. In a recent statement, the lucky winner said, I'm still trying to spend the $10 million I won in 2019. Congratulations to Juan, who has already requested the prize in cash and is planning what he is going to do with his newly acquired millions. Now to Natalie with this week's movie review. Thank you, Eden. Butter is a film that is being directed and produced by Peter Kaufman, who Eden and I had the pleasure to interview. Butter was released on February 25th. This movie is about an obese high school student nicknamed Butter. Butter is decides that on New Year's Eve he is going to eat himself to death. The once loner is now surrounded by people enthralled with his plan. He may even have the girl of his dreams. When he reaches his de destined date, will he follow through with his initial plan and have his final meal? Perfect, sweet Anna. She was the prettiest girl in school. Hey, handsome. I'd met her on this online social app. I told her I was the captain of my soccer team at a private school. Naturally, I didn't tell her I'm the fat guy with the oversized desk in the back of your comp class. I knew she would never accept me the way I was. Is there a little lady in the mix there? I'm proud of you. When am I gonna hear you played in person? Mom. Baby, I just wanted to let you know that your dinner is ready. I hate it when she calls me baby, but it's better than what all the kids at school call me. Morning, Butter. 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 Butter! His name's Butter. <laughs> Eat it! A reckless idea began to take shape in my head. Ignore me now. 
<laughs> Did you see that fat kid's website? He's gonna embarrass himself to death by not showing up. On New Year's Eve, I'm gonna eat my final meal live on the internet. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Legendary, bro. So who are these new friends of yours? I think you need like a bucket list. Yeah? Butter! What's next? Kids at school stopped caring about my website when everyone wanted to know how the fat kid cracked the cool crowd. Dude, I'm telling you, she likes you. Oh, no, no, no. I have a boyfriend. I can't wait to meet you, JP. Until New Year's, no turning back. You really think they're your friends? Dude, what's your problem? Think I'm gonna take your place? Well, even if you do, I guess that spot will be back open in January, huh? But you're not actually gonna do it though, right? I didn't want to die. I just wanted the unbearable pain to go away. Sometimes we take a step back before we take a step forward. You have an immense talent. I want you to know that life can and will get better. You wanna go to my place? Uh, yeah. No, no one else saw that. Thank you so much, Natalie. Butter looks amazing, and I can't wait to go check it out. Get your, go get your tickets for Butter this week and support Paul Kaufman on his new film. Now let's send it to Julia with this week's Field Report. I'm standing in front of what used to be known as The Village to Beverly Hills High School students. As you can see, this has now become an unoccupied, empty area of land, and the classrooms have moved to the new buildings. These brand new buildings have just opened to students and faculty this year, and have replaced the classrooms in the village. Let's see how students feel about this transition. How do you feel about the transition from the bungalows to the new building? Um, I personally really like the new building. I think it's very like spacious and modern and it adds like a really pretty touch to our, to our school. And I just kind of thought that the bungalows were a little bit small and kind of brought everyone really close together, but I'm really excited for the new building. Are you happy to be out of the bungalows? Yes, because it's like a far walk to get there and it's kind of like claustrophobic to be in the bungalows. How do you feel about the transition from the bungalows to the new building? I feel like it was a very hard transition because I walk to school and I come in from the swim gym area and so it, it was easier to walk to my first period of Hebrew with the amazing Ms. Shiner who is now retired it was hard, it was easy to walk to the bungalows because the swim gym is right next to my house, which is right next to the bungalows. But now I have to go all the way around to the other side just to go to the science building. And also they don't even let me go in from the swim gym sometimes and they make me go all the way to the science building to get, enter the school. How do you feel about not being in the bungalows anymore? Uh, I like not being in the bungalows anymore. It's a good, it's a good feeling, you know. Thank you, Julia, for that report. These bungalows were the original location of the science and business buildings in the 20s, until it was taken down and replaced by the girls' lacrosse field approximately 15 years ago. These bungalows previously housed Norman Aid, English, History, and Foreign Language departments. As of 2021, these bungalows have been dismantled, and the classroom transferred to the new B1 buildings and B2 buildings, which just became open this year. However, few bungalows are still in use for certain subjects such as special education. We are eager to see how the school plans to use this empty space in the future. Thank you for watching. Until next time. trying to figure out how to sign up for health. We don't have nothing. <laughs> Stop sending it to us. There's nothing. Thanks, Julia. Starting on February 25th, establishments, businesses, and venues can make masking optional for fully vaccinated people. This is due to the COVID case numbers dropping in LA County. The guidelines state that it could be optional for both customers and employees, or just customers. 
If you choose not to wear a mask, you must show proof of vaccination or a negative test. These new guidelines do not apply to schools, healthcare settings, and public transportation. Now to Matthew with gaming. Thanks, Nora. Pokemon Legends Arceus has been the first time Pokemon has really changed its core gameplay style since 1996. And I would say that this game is definitely where the future of this franchise will go. The story begins with you getting sent by God to the Hisui region, or Sinnoh in a kind of feudal Japan time frame. This was before Pokemon were established in everyone's lives, and were, gen and were genuine menaces and monsters that people feared. Then you join the Galaxy Survey Corps to discover everything about Pokemon. The story is not something you all should spend too much time worrying about, though for a Pokemon game, it's better than most others in the series. Now, the real reason you're here is the gameplay, and oh my Arceus, it is such an improvement. You get complete camera control, open world expo exploration, and the ability to just catch Pokemon without fighting them, and just so much more. One of the smallest additions that this game added is that Pokemon just attack you. So yes, you do actually have to be concerned about the giant bear mauling you to death, rather than just hiding behind your little turtle. I really think it adds to the untamed nature of Pokemon. You also have to do quests. You also do quests that you need to perform in order to learn more about Pokemon, making you feel more like you're actually learning about them and more involved. I've never felt more motivated to catch, learn, and bond with Pokemon than before this game. The feeling that this is just when the bonds between Man and Mon were being formed, and that you know the beautiful future that it will contribute to, really makes the importance of what you do in-game have more punch. Then the trainer battles are noticeably more tough. While they have fewer Pokemon, those Pokemon are so much stronger and close to their trainers. Also being able to tell which characters at this time are related to what characters in the future is also just really cool. Now, I actually need to talk about the flaws of this game. The graphics are boring and uninteresting. This game had so much potential for graphics design, and now it just looks so flat. The sound is non-existent. There is no music, no voice acting, no nothing. But ultimately, I do believe that this is where the Pokemon franchise should go. Now on to the anchors. Thanks, Matthew, and thank you for tuning in to this week's Norman News. I'm Grace Suomi. And I'm Natalie Gold. We will see you next, next week. week. Uh,